Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy's Table Studio. It is, let me check my time, 3.51 a.m. And as usual, I can't sleep. So, I was looking through my Instagram feed, and I have a lot of people that are doodle artists in there, and I decided that I needed a doodle book that had graph paper in it. So, I have, whoops, getting tangled up there. I have this graph pad. I put all my specialty papers in these ticket holders. And then I have, and I tore them off of the pad. And I have this stuff here that I've had. Oh my word, I can't tell you how long I've had this pad. This is very old, probably 10 to 20 years old. So I really like this paper. And I don't want to use it in a junk journal. Well, I use some of it in a junk journal, but I want to use this stuff. So I decided that I'm going to make a mini or a smallish doodle book that's just grid paper so that I can do things like this. These are mine, yes. And I can use them, you know, to do measured, calculated type designs. And then I can also use it for calligraphy things where I can do small designs in a row for consistency purposes. So let me show you these. These were just things that I did while I watched TV. Just playing around with it. Now I've been doing mandalas for, I don't know, 10, 12 years. Um, and I really enjoy them. It's a challenge for proportion. It's a challenge for consistency and distribution of your design so that it fits and there's uniformity and anyway. So um, I really like man doing mandalas. Uh, so what I'm going to do is like, I'm, I'm going to record my little bookmaking and then I might put some stuff in the book. I don't know. So I will fast forward through all of this because honestly, you guys have seen me make a million books and you can watch and try to get the gist of it anyway. Okay, here we go. Okay, as you can see, the basic structure of the book is done, and, sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> um, the basic structure of the book is done. There are 12 signatures that each have four pieces of paper folded in half, nothing fancy. Um, 
I tried to cut the boards. These are boards from the back of Canson watercolor paper, Canson mixed media paper. You know, I'm trying to use up what I have to recycle it. So there's that. I started measuring these, and when I did it on the calculator, to divide eight and three quarters in half, it was four and seven fortieths. Seriously? <laughs> no. All right, so what I did was instead is I took the ruler and I measured an inch inside and then another inch and another inch. I doubt seriously I will put something in the middle. And then I forgot I had to cover a cardboard. So while I was uploading, transferring, copying, whatever you want to call it, stuff off of the scan disk from the camera, I picked these two pieces of paper that are not cardstock, but they're a little heavier than regular scrapbook paper. And I love these map map papers. So I'm going to put um, oops, ups, ups, up, down. I'm going to put one of these on the front and one of these on the back. And I haven't decided what to do on the inside cover. I might do that too. I don't know, but I like map paper. I just I just love this stuff. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cover these and then I'll put it back together again. I I probably will ink the ends of the cardstock because I'm not going to cover them. I'm not I'm just gonna lay the paper flat on the top and call it a day. This is not I'm not trying to be fancy and all politically correct making this. I just need a little book to do some uh, mandala doodles in and, and little you know line doodles or maybe some calligraphy in. Uh, I'm not trying to sell this to anybody. It's just for fun. So I am going to do the Coptic stitch on it, as you you know, as you can kind of tell, because I like the fact that if I doodle on it, I can open it flat, and it makes it easier to work with. I'm telling you, I love the Coptic stitch. Don't love making it, but I do like the end result. So let me go and ink my edges, which will probably be some kind of a brown color because this is brown and this is brown or maybe it'll be blue I don't know we'll see anyway so that's next Okay, just a little thing I wanted to comment about about the Sukwang tape. Is this stuff is not cheap, and so I use it for things, well, I wouldn't say sparingly, but judiciously. Um, so it's two or two and a half inches wide, 
and the price has gone up since the first time I bought it. So whenever I use um, a strip and peel it off of a page like this and I have odd cuts, I go ahead and put my odd cuts like this and this one on to, and then this, this is an odd cut. So I make sure that I save the odd cuts and, cuts and when I put it in the drawer, I make sure I put these two together so that I know I need to start with the odd cuts first or use them while I'm um, doing something so that I don't waste this tape because this, like I said, this stuff is not cheap. All right, so I have covered the front and then I have enough of the same paper that I can go ahead and peel it off and use it. So I'm not wasting my scrapbook paper either. So I can cover, I can cover the front and the back with one sheet and then the other front and back with one sheet. And then I'll have this little strip left over, which I will find a use for no sweat because I have all this left over. And so I could make a little mini book and use this for the cover of another little matching mini book. So believe me, I try not to waste the things I have, but I have stopped collecting um, food cardboard thingies be or containers because it's time to stop collecting and start using. <laughs> All right, let me finish the rest of this stuff. Okay, so I had a little mishap when I stood over the, is the big bite? Yeah. Um, when I stood over it, the little um, plastic piece that gives you the measurements on how far your, um, your hole will be punched, scooted. So this one is not lined up with the other. So I'm going to show you a little trick. I finished the other ones. But I'm going to show you a little trick on how to fix it. Of course, you won't want to sell your work to somebody else like that, but for me, it's no big deal. So whenever I punch holes in these things, I save these little pieces that popped out from the bottom. I take one that will match the blue and I mash it down. Whoop. Make sure it's kind of flat because when they come out, they're like concave. And try to match one that will fit there you go. That might be this one right here. That will fit what I did. Because I have to do the front and the back. So I have to take this apart. That's the reason you don't do two at a time. Just saying. <laughs> I want to take myself some PVA glue. <coughs> nice. I guess the aliens wanted to be used instead. All right, so there's the PVA. I put glue on the edges. It would be advisable that you use a toothpick to do this with. I'm just going to rub it around my fingers because it's 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so looking for a toothpick really isn't on my list of priorities. Okay. And there's the blue. Then I'm going to take this. I'm going to poke it in the hole. And yeah, it looks a little different. I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, well, maybe I should use this one. So uh, I did worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. All right, so let's try this again. <laughs> the bright blue should be closer. I mean, should be on the top instead of the brownish looking blue. Okay, so I'm going to take this now I'm going to put it in there with the bright blue on the other side. I'm going to take this and I'm going to poke it in the hole. Look, it almost disappears. You can see it right there. But I'll let it dry. I won't continue on with anything else. Um, I'll let it dry for a couple of hours and then I'll go back and I'll poke the hole 
And yes, it might overlap a little bit, but really, it's not that big of a deal. I take this and I rub it flat so that it really blends in. And, you know, you know I did it. I know I did it, but I would like for them to be lined up because it makes it much easier to sew the paper on. So there's that one. Now this one has green and dark green. Whoops, stuck to my hand. And I see that I have those pieces right here. So I'm gonna take this one and see which blue, greenish that's on that side. I'll just, maybe I'll just stick it in the hole. Yeah, that's so much easier. So now I'm going to go back to bed and think about how I should not have put these two side by side to poke the holes. <laughs> Sometimes shaking a shortcut seems good in the front end, but at the back end, it doesn't always work out. This goes this way because it's on the top. Looks better on the back side. Okay, so these guys got to get a little PVA glue time, dry time. Okay, so I finished the book. It is, what time is it? 9.30. Oh, it's 10 after 10. All right, so here's the book. There's a few, there were a few mishaps, first of all, with the cover. Then I had to trim the pages off, and I still need to do that a little bit better because they weren't aligned up properly. And... That's it. So there's the book. All done. So now I will use this for my um,
doodle book. I'm not sure if I want to glue these on here. I might photocopy this and then glue, you know, decoupage these on here. We'll see. Anyway, so the book's all done, and I'm just really glad that I had everything I needed to make a book. I did not have to go out and buy anything, and I'm okay with with the way it looks, at certain aspects of it, let's put it that way, need to be trimmed back a little bit. What I'd really like to do is put those corner, metal corner pieces on here because I noticed that in these kind of books, they take a beading on the edges. And it's, it took me almost a year to use the other book. So I have a feeling I'm going to need to protect these corners. And I could put packing tape on them, but I find that rather unattractive and uh, I'm not crazy about the way it looks. So I might have to find some way to fix this, to gussy it up a bit so that it's um, not going to fall apart. All right. Thanks, everybody, for enduring all the fast forward and the craziness, the knots, the, you know, mistakes, so on and so forth. But this is real life. This is what happens when you do art is it doesn't always turn out the way you hoped. Sometimes better, sometimes okay, and sometimes you just want to toss it into the round file. This was just a pra practice book, so it doesn't really matter if it's unattractive. It is what it is. It's a all leftovers. Okay, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.